welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Satoli. Today we're in Gallatin County, Kentucky, and we're going to check out the old bridges all throughout the county. Come on, follow me. Over the years, Gallatin County, Kentucky has been home to at least seven covered bridges and numerous steel truss bridges. Unfortunately, all have been lost, and in 2017, little remains of these historic structures. Today, we'll do a quick review of what was and what is still standing that may become historic at some point in the future. The most well-known bridge in Gallatin County would be the Markland Dam Bridge, which spans the Ohio River at 2,257 feet and connects Gallatin County, Kentucky to Switzerland County, Indiana. Construction on the dam began in April 1959 and completed in June 1964. However, the bridge across the dam wasn't completed until 1978. Markland Dam replaced a series of locks and dams on the Ohio River, including Lock and Dam No. 39, which stood where the current dam is located. This is a great place to take the kids to show them how the locks for the dam works, plus they have a small park and picnic area right on the river. The Ether Ridge Cover Bridge sat in a location where US-42 crosses Craig's Creek. When this bridge existed, the Ohio River was much shallower due to the absence of modern dams, so there is a possibility that the stone bridge abutments may still be standing somewhere below the waterline. The Sparta Cover Bridge was built in 1873 and lost in 1938. It was replaced with a steel truss bridge and that was replaced in the 1970s with a concrete bridge. The Indian Camp Creek Bridge is a closed spandrel arch bridge over Indian Camp Creek, which is used by CSX Railroad. Glencoe Cover Bridge was built in 1870 and lost many years ago. However, one of the stone piers still stands to this day, 147 years after it was built. The Napoleon Cover Bridge spanned Big Sugar Creek where the current Route 42 is located. After the cover bridge was removed, this steel truss bridge was constructed, which was later replaced by the current span. Here is an interesting stone culvert along Glencoe Sparta Road, which goes under the CSX rail line. Thanks for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Today we were checking out all the old bridges in the county. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more next time. And remember, travel slowly and stop often. Bye.